Oh, that was number three. The fourth one is right underneath Amanda's apartment. Mm, don't you just love the smell of sulfur in the afternoon, Sydney? Uh, no. Well, I don't think hell is going to smell much better. And since that's where you're going to be spending eternity, you really better get used to it. Now. Do you want to know how it's all going to work? Four fire bombs strategically placed. The first one blows up the laundry room. That ought to get everyone's attention. Especially yours, Sid. The next one takes out Allison's apartment. Not that I have anything against reformed alcoholics. It's just that, well, she happens to live right next door to Matt, who is number three. Bam! He takes one in the shorts. <laughs> and guess what? I saved the biggest one for last. For Amanda. That soulless, slutty husband stealing bitch. One push of this little button and the place is toast. Now, all I need for you to do is call Michael at the hospital and tell him to come on over, okay? Help! Shut up. What are you gonna do with that? If you call Michael and tell him to get his ass over here, nothing. And if you don't, Hmm. I'm gonna burn your face so it matches the color of your hair. He's not gonna come here just because I tell him to. And if he does, he's gonna bring the cops. Well, I guess you're just gonna have to be creative. Mancini. Michael, it's me. You better be calling to find out what I want for dinner, because your Nancy Direct is getting old. You're the one who asked me to do it, so don't bail out on me now. I followed Kimberly to the apartment building, and she wants to confess to stalking Amanda and setting you up. But she'll only do it if you come here in person. And don't call the police. Yeah, right, Sid. Michael, do you want to clear your name or not? All right. I'll come, but this better be on the level, and I'm bringing a tape recorder. Hurry, Michael. We're in the laundry room, and I don't know how much longer I can keep her here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 